We've got a 10 minute standing HIIT workout today. There's no burpees or planks, so you're gonna love it if you're not into planks. There's 8 brand new episodes in this program and the full daily schedule is on my website. If you're looking for meal ideas, I've also launched a new recipe section to help you out. And remember guys, you're not alone in this journey. Do share your progress with the rest of the community on YouTube, Instagram or join my Discord server if you want more support. Now smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and leave a comment down below and let's get started. We've got 13 exercises today, 30 to 40 seconds on and 10 to 20 seconds off. Let's start the workout with feet tap. Bring one foot up like so and tap with your opposite hand. Keep your back neutral and core engaged and land softly. Be careful because you don't want to injure your ankles. You can always start slow and only get quicker once you get used to the move. For low impact, just take it nice and slow. seconds rest and we're doing squat crossovers. Start in a the squat then jump up crossing your feet over with your toes so rotated. Keep your core engaged and your back neutral. For low impact do a squat followed by crunch to one side touching the opposite elbows with your knee. Next, we've got jumping jacks. Make sure you're engaging your core here and do it in good form. Nice and easy for low impact and it's okay if you need to take a little breather. Alright, we're picking up the pace here with some touchdown crossover jumps. Start in the forward lunge, then jump up to the middle like a shuffle, then lunge forward on the other side. Make sure your core is engaged and your back is neutral. Start slow to get used to the move. Don't rush it, focus on getting your form right. For low impact, just skip the jumps. You're doing great guys, now we're on to high knees. Make sure your core is engaged and you're lifting your knees up to your hips level. If you're too tired, you can always jog in place or do the low impact version. Just don't give up. I'm a silver screen, I'm a weird machine, don't you worry about Next we've got squat jacks. Start in a squat then jump up into a jumping jack. Make sure your glutes are engaged and your back stays neutral. For low impact, just leave out the jumps and make sure you're squatting down low.
All right, now time for some broad jumps. If you live in an apartment or just want to avoid jumps, then just do butt kicks. For the rest of us, make sure you're squatting down a little, then leap forward as much as possible, then do some high knees while you move backwards and repeat. Be safe and make sure you have enough room and avoid jumping on something that may slip. This is tough, but you can do it. Well done guys, halfway through the workout, you got this. Take a longer break if you need to, it's totally okay. Alright, next we've got some switch lunges. Move like you're doing scissors three times, then lunge down. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes, get back up and repeat. We're gonna do this side for 20 seconds. Now swap to the other side for another 20 seconds. Next we've got lateral bound. Hop laterally to one side then to the other side. Do it in a controlled manner and in good form and if you're feeling tired then take it nice and slow. As always, make sure you're engaging your core. Next, we've got overhead single leg reach. Hinge on your hips by pushing your hips back as you lower down your upper body trying to reach the floor with your hands. Make sure your back is straight here. You don't have to go down too low, just as low as you can. Then get back up and kick your leg while bringing your hand into the air. If you're feeling tired, just swap to low impacts and don't give up guys. Now onto the other leg. We are almost there guys, three more exercises to go. Make sure you're engaging your core and your back stay neutral as you lower down. Alright, next we have tough jump followed by high knees. Start with your knees bent, then jump up as high as you can, then land softly with a slight bend on your knee. Then bring your knees up into high knees, then repeat. And for low impact, just do some standing crunches, touching your knee with your opposite elbow. And the final exercise is lateral lunge hop. 
Start in a lateral lunge, then hop to the middle, then lunge to the other side. Make sure you sit your hips back and engage your core as you do lunges. If you're feeling too tired, then please do low impact without the jumps. We did it! That's the workout! Keep going with the schedule and don't give up, we're all in this together. Remember to smash that like button and let us know down in the comments how you're going and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!